Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, I wanted to uh, show the lineup of radios for tonight. Um, they will be powered by loop antenna. So I uh, took out and dished out the uh, Radiwow R108, the XHDDA D808, the good old Grundig G5, the Texan PL680, and for the fun, the uh, good old Raider Shag DX398 in the background. They will all be tested with loops. Um, I don't know how many videos I'll be posting tonight, but I'll also be posting a video with my verdict of how good it is, how good they are using loop antennas. So the loop used will be the MLA30 Mega Loop, the Chinese 40, 50 ish dollars loop. Why? Because I think for portable receivers, it's the best loop because a portable receiver isn't very expensive in general. So if you dish out, you know, a hundred bucks for a portable, you want to dish out 500 bucks for an antenna. So of course, every portable has a telescopic, that's for sure. But maybe you want to have something that will bring out the power of your um, portable receiver a little more. And will a loop antenna work well with a portable receiver? And that's also something that we need to check out. So the MLA30 will be there and will be tested on all receivers. So the wire, the wet little wire here is the uh, MLA30's um, input. I've of course chosen radios or receivers that all have the antenna input that I could use for the loop. So that means if you ever want to buy a combo, say you want to buy a portable radio and buy an MLA30 loop, well, the best thing that you'll have to do is to actually get at least a portable radio that has an antenna input. And they all here have antenna inputs, as you see. Uh, even the good old Radio Shack has an antenna input at the top. So. You'll want to choose one of those because it's easier to hook up. And of course, then you'll have the loop antenna. The biggest problem you'll have is probably to find a way to connect the loop. And that is something that you might have to uh, create yourself like I did, or you might uh, find an adapter of some sort, but um, well, we'll see. Anyways, it's gonna be interesting to test out of these um, radios tonight. And so videos are going to be posted through the night tonight. And as I test out and do um, different uh, scans of the bands, uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to see the results of the loop antenna. Um, somebody actually asked me to do something kind of interesting that I didn't think of, but why not? Maybe it could be interesting. Um, if I could at some point do a... Um, so, you know, this is the Texan AN200 medium wave loop, which is amazing by itself, by the way. But of course it has a antenna jack. And somebody said, what about if you put the loop into the loop? What will happen? What will make, you know, will it make it better? Especially because you can actually tune it here. So, uh, you know what? That is an interesting experiment. That we'll try out. I don't know if it's going to work well or not. Will we be surprised or not? I think it would be interesting to see with and without the loop. Um, you know, just the AN200 and the MLA30, for example, uh, plugged in or not. Does it make a difference? Uh, anyways, we'll test that out of this. I mean, there's a lot of things to do. And I think you guys are going to find the videos really, really interesting. So, uh, like I said tonight, don't look at these two analogs here at the back. That one is on the W6LVP loop because it's uh, plugged in, it's wired directly as you see here in the back. But uh, so this one is on the MLA, uh, the W6LVP loop. And I'll still keep it and, and use it tonight because I want to tune around with it just using that loop. I think it's going to be fun. But uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to tune into all of this radio, these radios. And of course, there will be, after this trial, a verdict, which will be, does a loop and a portable go together and do they work well together? 
I think we'll have an idea after I've already been doing a few hours of testing out and actually having a lot of fun. And uh, tomorrow, and the live show, by the way, tomorrow, October 16th, we will keep this setup. I will be using this setup. We'll be talking about portable receivers tomorrow, the features of portable receivers. And of course, we'll be using the loop for the antenna and we'll be testing out a little bit with these uh, radios. So tomorrow is going to be a special show for that. And I think it's worth it to kind of go through portable radios, what features you want to look at, and how much should you pay for a portable radio. That's also another thing of interest. So hope you enjoy our videos because, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun today. And it's interesting because, you know, when you say that your work is having fun, well, that's kind of the feel today. My evening is going to be having fun. In reality, it's my work, but it's still, I'm just going to have fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos, and uh, this is going to be really interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.